So I'm just the idiotic, stupid dog, but I was watching this thing where these Hugh Hefner girls are coming out saying Hugh was a rapist and like a log. They, she says he like was both a rapist and really horribly bad at sex, and it took a minute, and he was like a log. He just laid on them. But that's not the whole thing. But that's not either. That's neither here nor there. The thing the man said was so amazing was that Hugh... Hugh Hefner, he was the degenerate wackadoo, but he was like a flaccid log as well. So it was, but that's why he knew how to creep right up to the edge. And that's what he knew best how to do is to creep right to the edge. Hugh was good at saying, I'm a degenerate, you know, hedonistic piece of shit. Okay. But I know how to put a little bit of that out, but not too much. It's not too much so you don't have to be a degenerate. We're not, he knew the power of degeneration. He would degenerate society to the level it could stand. And each subsequent year, you degenerate it a little further. So it keeps on down the slippery slope to de- de- degeneration. It's really amazing. As a dog, I understand because I have, rem- I have dog remembrance. I can research till a thousand years ago. Foggily. It's not that clear, but as you come closer to my own time, it becomes clear. And it, and it, always, it always makes a picture. It sells a picture. It makes a picture. It sells a picture. But Hugh, Hugh knew just the right amount of degeneration to sell. He, Hugh made degeneration, degenerate behavior, sexual deviant, wackadoo, shit, horse shit, nobody should do. I'm a dog and I know better. I mean, dogs are humping everything. They're humping a goat. One time I saw a dog hump a goat. We didn't think that was really that bad. But Hugh, if you're, you know, Hugh, if you're, I mean, if all you're doing is like laying on a woman and like writhing a couple times, a couple humps and you whatever, whatever, and it's over in a minute and a half, yeah, come on, Hugh, that's not good enough. You can't be a sexual whatever guru if that's what you're doing. And that's what these girls are accusing him of, just being really... But he was old. I mean, maybe that was pretty good for how old he was. Maybe that was pretty good for how old he was when those girls were dating him. They were dating a fossilized. Ver- they were dating a fossilized version of Hugh. So maybe they didn't understand. That's the best Hugh could do at that point. You know, Hugh was like a fossilized version of his former self. But you know, and he was still gathering them together. He's three in a bed at one time. But he laid on a log, and they said it wasn't that good. He didn't know how to please them. He didn't know how to give. He didn't know how to give. Hugh didn't wasn't a giver. But that's okay. Hugh wasn't a giver. It doesn't matter. It's it's neither here nor there. The whole point of the whole thing was that, you know, you should try to do a little bit better, and maybe if you do a little bit better, but Hugh didn't have a grasp of reality. And these girls, they're piling on now. It's like dog pile on. And that's okay. That's all right. It doesn't really matter. And okay, sera, sera, here to four, to wit to what. I'll meet you around the bend. Maybe at some point you remember what you thought. Maybe at some point you say, hey, hey, now I remember. Hugh Hefner, he didn't value women. And, but the thing we'll give him credit for was he didn't value women. We have to, de- you know, but he was a degenerate and he knew how to sell degeneration right up to the point where you could say the degeneration was palatable to the regular society. So he was a degenerate. Plus, this is a weird thing. If you believe these women nowadays, I don't know if he was a degenerate. He laid on him like a lug. He wasn't that good. He didn't have any, he didn't have no moves. It was pretty bad. It was pretty weak. I mean, he was a d- degenerate guru of sexuality, but he had no moves. He was laid on him like a log. He's a piece of whatever. He was a nut. He was a freak. He was a douchebag. But he knew how to just get right up to the edge. And if you were right at the edge, then you could sell, sell, sell. You're right at the edge is where you sell, sell. Right at the, na- the razor's edge, that's where the sales occur. Right at the razor's edge. And as a dog, I know that. As a man, he knows that. But the adherents, the people we want to reach, we're, we're trying to get to you, to a- enable you to understand that it's that razor's edge. It's the razor's edge. But whatever. You know. It could happen, it could not. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And that would be good. You know, that would. That would just old be plain good.